Hi guys, I'm Nicholas Bauer. Welcome back to Fly TV. I'm here with my good friend, Paolo Pacchiarini. And you know, today we're doing this. I have one following here. Oh. It's just insane fishing here. Oh. Ah, it's a big one. It's incredible day, incredible team. <laughs> it's insane. It is actually every single cast you have a fish on. And the last two hours have been probably one of the best fishing we have ever had. So Paolo, welcome to Sweden. Oh. Welcome to the North of Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> the best of your average moon fight. Oh, look at that. Welcome back to Fly TV. We're in the north of Sweden. We're uh, quite high above the Arctic Circle. I have my good friend Paolo here, Mr. World Record. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he actually has the longest yeah. pike ever caught on in the world. Yes, on uh, fly. My Sorry. dream, my You're, dream. Yeah, yeah. My dream. Yes, it's arrived. So, so um, I think we can keep uh, start some new memories, some new dreams for you. Uh, I, I try, I try, <laughs> I try. Dreams don't stop to dream. So, but I am very happy to fishing in the north. Uh, the conditions are tough, but so I'm sure that a lot of fun. So we actually uh, we're quite far up. Uh, we we have the mountains we have around us here is 1,100 meters. Um, we are on a very big lake. Um, we're gonna fish these coves that are uh, like um, like a branch to the big lake. Uh, the water level has increased with uh, 80 centimeters uh, in one week now and the temperature, which is really good, it was 21 degrees in these coves um, a week ago, now it's 11, so it's really good because we can fish them and it's also a good way to handle the fish. Yes, I, I think that the condition for catch some big. Okay. It, it's going to be yeah. good, you know. Uh, sadly, we're probably not going to have any popper action, but hopefully mm. we're going to have really good action in shallow waters. So if you want to see something cool, continue watching this. Wow. Catch a big one now. Yes. <laughs> What these lakes have in common is they have small coves which uh, increase in water temperature. So the fish goes in there to hunt, but they also go in there to digest the food. Uh, out here where we are now, we actually have nine degrees in the water. And uh, this, these lakes have lake trout, brown trout, grayling, whitefish. They have numerous of, of bait fish for these guys. But the water is so cold, so they go in to hunt and they're also going to digest the food in these coves. So you can fish them with a the boat or you can wade fish them. Actually it works really well too if it's windy like we have. But um, the cool thing is it with, that the water is crystal clear so you can see everything that you... You can see everything basically. And it's just damn cool. And fishing with a fly rod, that's the right way to do it. Most of these waters that we're going to fish is... is um, I don't think anybody has ever put a fly in them. So. What the cool thing with that is we can they really can show you how the fish react when they have no fishing pressure whatsoever. These fish are just a vicious killer and they just slam these flies so hard and that's what I really love with the fishing up here. It's just untouched, it's tough weather, tough conditions, but the reward can be great and the fish can be really big and it can be a lot. So that's why we're here and of course can't complain about this. So this is the cove here. Then it becomes a little bit deeper in the end. Yep. Uh, and and it's, we have this, when you're up here and, and you want to find really big fish, you want to look for this grass that is like neon green, like really, really bright green. They have a tendency to like that. Yeah. So all the way in this corner here, it's a little bit deeper and you have a creek coming out here. Yes, and uh, you pay attention for fish. Yeah, so yeah. usually the big fish is standing like all the way. This. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it, there's a oh, pike yeah, here. Yeah. Yes. But the, you see the green grass and there's a pike. But usually all the way in, it's a little bit deeper. Yes. And uh, that's where we usually catch the really nice fish. Yeah. So, so let's see it. I had 115 on popper in there yes, oh. last year. So 
Yeah. But you see how we fish it? You see, it's a big lake, and then these small coves. They hold, and they probably the fish is coming in here to hunt, but also mm. to digest the food mm. because they're yeah. feeding on white fish and uh, and perch, grayling yeah. and perch, and then they go in here to to a little bit warmer water to digest their food. You know, so yeah. cool. But we fish it slowly on both sides. Okay. You know? decide to use sinking line because the wind push and the fish stay under the boat and I saw very well the fish that bite my fly or in the mouth nice yeah nice fish yeah definitely should I net it for you or is it okay oh, but I think that I can bring the fish without net oh. Oh, oh, nice. Nice, nice condition. Fish. Ah, perfect fish. Chunky. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Fin. The first bite on this fly. Yeah. Nice fish. Nice Job. fish. I like this bite because bite under the ball. Ooh. <laughs> Happy fish. Nice one. Happy fish. Up. Yeah. Wow. Shit. Did we lose one? <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's a little it's a little bit windy when the flies are blowing <laughs> blowing out of the box. <laughs> so uh, probably a lot of most of you guys would have stayed home today. We're in a sheltered bay, but it's probably still blowing like 14, 15 meters per second. And in the gusts today they're promising 22 to 23 meters per second. So you need to be really careful, but we're in a close cove. But actually the, the raptor is not holding the boat here, so I'm preparing the anchor so we can have the raptor and the anchor just to hold the boat. But we're seeing some really nice fish. We just had a 120 centimeters just laying on the bottom and Paolo has been having four or five of these meter fish follow. So we know we're in the spot, we just have to work it and see if it's a biting period and then what's gonna happen. So putting a pike tube on, tube fly, a little bit chartreuse, going to fish it with a big uh, bright green uh, dragon tail. We'll see if the big mouths want to eat that. We are fishing outside here. It's clay bottom and we can actually see the fish standing here. You see the red here and then you see the, the so they're very stuck to the bottom and you see the shade underneath. So we have one fish standing there and we have another oh, one yes. fish here. So, so these and, and they are like from the boat. They're actually like seven meters from the boat. Oh, yeah. It no, could be the same fish. Yeah, but yeah. But they're actually standing here, you know, so. Oh, big one. Oh, it's a nice fish. Yep. Mm. Big belly, you see. <laughs> Nice fish? Yes, nice <laughs> nice catch because it's beautiful to see. This is what we're here for. Up on uh, five, six hundred meters height. The mountains around us are 1100. Pretty cool. See how long it is? That's uh, a meter. So one meter. Yep. One meter. One meter, good shape. The first meter of the day. <laughs> okay. It was actually really cool because we saw it standing on the bottom. I put the fly there and it came in and it came and ate it right at the boat side. Yep. Super cool. Gonna let it rest for a while and then gonna release it. Nice. Mm, Just super before cool. lunch, some burgers. It's, it's perfect time, so. <laughs> Right. We, we, you, you catch you catch a, a good fish, a big fish. Now he's ready for food. But if I'm gonna have more burgers, I'm gonna uh, cast even longer. Uh, yes, only <laughs> one, only one hamburger for you, without nothing. Okay. <laughs>
nice man we just uh, had some lunch yes, and uh, after came into this cove and uh, we just fished for 10 minutes and uh, Paolo has a beautiful uh, yeah, it's a uh, one, 105, 110. Yeah. Nice fish. Oh, it's fat also. Oh. It's super nice. I don't want that to shake too much the head. No. So, fat fish. Okay. No. Oh, no. Yes. Yay! Ha -ha. Ah, it's a big one. Good oh, job. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it wasn't that. It's probably a meter, but it's super fat. All the fish we caught now, the little bit bigger ones we caught, they have had a white fish or a grayling in the in and then you can see the fin is sticking up. So they have really been feeding. And um, they're probably in here just to rest because the water is like two degrees warmer here. It's 12 in here and the lake is 10. So probably they're here digesting the food and we are probably bothering them on their uh, place where they're digesting the food. Looks like it's oh, going yeah. the right way. Finally, boom. <laughs> we said it has to yes. be some big fish here. Yeah, yes, yes. Take the fly out. <sighs> oh. <Whoa. laughs> look, look, look how fat they are now. Oh, beautiful spot. Yeah. Yeah, is he the, uh, is a pike? Yes, yes pike. A pike sticking out pike, there. <laughs> pike inside, so. So they're also in here for hunting. Other pike. So here's your fish, man. Yep. yep. Beautiful, fat fish, man. Fat and heavy. Heavy too. Yeah. Okay. You go. You go. Yep. So this is the fly? Yep. So it's an articulated so, one? Yep. It's articulate, move, and the double tail help to move and... and like a jerk yes, bait, yeah. like a jerk. Cool, nice. Yep. He calls this the fancy fly, like Italian fancy, fancy women? Fancy, no, fancy, fancy pike. Women. Oh, fancy, fancy pike. pike. Okay. <laughs> but they are, these are big females, yeah, so that's why, yes. you know, they like the fancy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see a big one in here. Yeah. And there are most likely a whole bunch of these in here. The fish that Paolo just caught had a, probably a half a kilo, or, um, yeah, like 700 gram big pike sticking up from the throat of it. So they're not only here to digest, they're also in here to feed, which is pretty cool. So uh, let's see if we can catch a really big one now. Oh. Ah, fuck. It's a race here. Mm. <laughs> He won. <laughs> not bad. No, not bad. I know, he's been biting my fly like four times before you were casting it, putting your fly there. Not bad. Uh, another one. That's a little bit bigger fish yes, in the cove yes. here now. It's nice so, size. Yeah. Sorry man, I stole. Yeah, you stole mine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, stole. you know what? You stole mine, but you can unhook mine. <laughs> I stole your pike. It was nibbling my fly <laughs> three times. He puts the fly there and he takes the... Ah, oh, shit. That's a good long line release. Can I see my pike? Oh, nice. Yes, I show you. I show you the pike. It's too small. You can have that yeah, one. It's okay. okay. Thanks. It's not a big deal for you. No, I'll take a bigger one. Today, and not only today, uh, I use uh, my love dragon tail. This I consider uh, a credit card for you. But in any case, I created and invented other different tails that can help to catch more pike. So most depend of the pike that want in this moment. 
One of these is a double tail, is very easy, simple, easy to cast and help to jerk the fly and imitate a, a real fish like this. So I, I use, especially when the water is clear, I use also the saddle tails. The saddle tails is, is a, a good option that uh, for, for have a vibration that is a sound is soft. His movement is soft and when retrieve is low, permitted to, to the pike to have some aggressive bite. But don't forget that also this is a double dragon tail that permitted to, to move a lot of water, especially if used with the with a head like this, but in any case the tail move and, and produce a lot of vibration in the water. So this is a double, double dragon tail. I love it. follow and I play with the fish so and the fish bites oh it's a nice fish yep and you are ready I yeah, put ready. in the net yeah. ah. okay <laughs> okay yeah good job nice yes nice fish yeah I go fast yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what I told you go yeah, faster go faster, faster. Go faster. Yeah. boom yep. we took it yeah Super cool, and we have the sea eagle in the background. <laughs> Beautiful light now, so. Yeah, now it's okay. Oh, nice one. Look at Opa. that, a meter fish. <laughs> Look at the Opa. colors. Look at the back. Yes. The color is perfect, so. Oh, somebody yes. uh, somebody chewed on him. Mm, somebody won't, won't bite. Look at the back. Look how it's. Uh, like a marmorata. Yes. They come to you even here. It's, it's <laughs> pike marble. The pike marble. What we're using here is um, 10 weights. I'm on the Marisola Predator here, which is our high-end rod here for for uh, pike fishing or other predators. These are insane rods. And you're on the Grand Mama, Paolo? Yes, the yeah. Grand Mama work very well. Two of our uh, top rods, which are really, really nice rods. So, um, and if you want to target really big fish, being able to cast uh, any fly out there in really heavy conditions, 10 weight is really a good way to go. Like now, for example, when it's uh, probably 14, 15 meters per second up in the north here and uh, 20 meters in the gusts, a 10 weight is really a good choice. Maybe you don't need it on this fish, but... <laughs> but the ones we're looking for, it's nice to have.
it's time to hit the water again. We had a tough day yesterday, it was really windy. Um, the fishing was uh, good, not super, but it was good. We had some nice fish, uh, but uh, we went home, had a good dinner at the lodge. Today, uh, I found a really cool uh, looking cove on the satellite photos, so that's gonna be much more covered from the, from the wind. We're gonna have quite a lot of rain today, but hopefully we're also gonna have a lot of big fish in that cove. So uh, let's see if we can show you uh, some really cool uh, shallow water action in the far north of Sweden. Check it out. Another one that took a little bit. Ooh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Again. Again. So this is why we're here. Shallow water action. Untouched fish that are just behaving like they should do. Probably never seen a fly before, and they just are crazy. Nothing big, but a great start. Look how big this fly is. It's probably 30 centimeters. Um, we have some wind. We're predicting some rain. And you have one too. Nice. Um, great start. We have some rain coming now. A little bit of wind, but uh, it's going to die off a little bit. So. Looks promising! Fighting yeah. <laughs> time. Welcome to Sweden. Oh. Welcome to the north of Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for so inviting invite me in this paradise. So guys, Yo. we are in uh, the north of Sweden. We're really, really high up. Uh, we're on uh, five, six hundred meters of uh, altitude. We have some really cool mountains. And we just do what we love the most. Yeah, I love this place. So <laughs> Big pike on shallow yes, water. <laughs> the water is like a gym. It's possible to see the, the fish in 20 meters of this. And so the Look how fat it is. Fat, yeah. It's nice. It's fat fish. So we're on the borderline to the... Uh, we're way above the Arctic Circle. And uh, actually this is the borderline where we actually have pike in Sweden. Just uh, maybe 20 kilometers or 30 kilometers north of this. We don't have any pike because the altitude is so high. So it's very untouched waters. Big pike and I can see fat pike. Fat pike. So, <laughs> so let's have oh, a good time now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> That's not your average northern the pike. The is full. Oh look at that. Oh, I just have to take a picture of that. That's super, super. cool. Oh, great nice. start and catch a big one. Yeah. Let's go for the big ones, man. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Look at the reindeer in there. You see it? Yes. 
He's just looking at us. <laughs> oh, fisherman. I wonder. <laughs> Have you seen those before? He's the first time that I see him. <laughs> so a great start. Let's try to catch some really big ones. The scenery is insane. The fish is really uh, active. The, so uh, the, the fish bite, bite, bite. Really I, I hard. think that now is the best condition. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I hope that One continues. Yes, yeah. continues like this because it's possible that rain and wind push a lot yeah, later. Yeah. So, so let's start fishing. Yeah, we go. Yes, this so Paolo just no, no. hooked a really big fish here. It's into backing at yeah. the moment. Yeah. It's raining. Uh, I've been trying some popper here, but nothing action. Paolo's been fishing deep in the cove. We're probably on a meter and a half now. Yeah, I, I saw one big stone in, yeah. the, in the middle. Yeah. I, I tried to cast uh, very close to the stone and the fish arrived under the stone. So okay, I, I, I saw the, the mouth, big mouth open. Whoa. Cool. It's insane. Oh, Ready? nice fish. Is heavy, heavy fish. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy when I see this type of fish. I won't play a little bit. Getting tired now. Mm, yep. You too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should have had more for breakfast. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Oki. 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 Beautiful. Yes. Probably 110, 150. One, one, 110, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. Super I, strong I, fish. Yep. <laughs> it's powerful. So the first run is similar to steelhead. So. <laughs> nice fish. Thank you so much for inviting <laughs> me here. So it's a great, great, great. Look, never been caught before. Yes, the fin are perfect. So completely virgin. We'll unhook it and yeah. put it in for a rest, and then you can take a picture with it. Awesome! Congratulations, thanks, man! Thanks a lot! Nice fish! Thanks a lot because so what, what you invited me, but I, I won't show you today. I saw that this cove is very, very clear, so yeah. not only this cove. So, uh, every place? This, is, yes, uh, in every place. And uh, the fish are reactive, so I like see, swim, the, the fly, and jerk. So, yeah. I, I decided to use a double tail yep. because it helps to, to swim. It's like a, a rudder. Right, yes, yep. exactly. No, no need too much vibration because the fish see, can, so, yeah. can see. This is a minimum vibration yep. and, and swim like a natural fish. But I like to see and... It looks like it's working. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay. And I, 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 it's, it's awesome because I cast only the first trip and I saw the bite. Wow, the big mouth, white. So I, it's it's beautiful also because I saw the big stone and I imagine, oh, it's must a big stone, a, it's possible, yes. Yeah, 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 and when look. happened that cast and and catch the fish, where I in my mind think that there is a big fish. So nice, hold, it's a nice holding point for it. Yes, and yeah. also uh, it's surprised because. So the first run is uh, unstoppable. So yeah. yeah, it was on the backing. Yes, it's the, the it's land arrived, on the yes, other side yes. stopped the fish. You yes, know, so. arrived, arrived with the backing. So now we're actually getting quite bad weather here. Uh, it was no rain, but now we're having a wind and some rain. It's going to rain most of the day, and then it's going to be uh, clearing in the afternoon and really heavy winds. So we're just going to take the opportunity to fish. But that's something you have to remember when you're up here in the north, you know, that the weather can change very quickly. It can go from uh, 25 degrees to 8 degrees, just like that, because we, the mountains we have, which we can't see nowadays, but, but usually they are up 1100 meters, we can just see some snow here. So it becomes uh, very challenging, but it makes it really cool too, because it's really, really wilderness. You know, we have these, uh, oh, he went now, but we have the reindeer feeding on the, uh, on the grass on the side here. So uh, 
the water level is going up and down. It's challenging, but it's yeah. super cool. And the fish is basically untouched. <laughs> so. when, it's a little bit tricky to find these places, but when you do, it's fine. Yeah, I, I think that you choose the right call. So yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, you watch and searching and tell me this call is okay. It looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. so get a big one. If I showed you what was left of me, would you jump? Is your fish sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay, oh, you, okay. You, you. you confuse, you confuse. <laughs> Check you. Oh, here's yours. Oh, <laughs> this is mine. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I, I, get, I get the small one yeah. then. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> nice it's, fish. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Beautiful. Look, ah. at, look at the markings, you know. Oh, it's yellow, yellow markings. So yeah. <laughs> Getting old? Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> this is what we're here for. Shallow water, slow-mo lines, so. big flies, big fish. So, uh, it's... Uh, this is one of these moments that you don't have that often. You know, every, every, oh, I lost it. You know, every cast, we have a fish that are between, uh, oh, oh, he took again. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, I was saying uh, that uh, we're catching fish on every cast now. And they're like between 85 to 110. And it's just, it's so intense. And these are the moments you have to cherish because it's not, it doesn't happen that often, but the water temperature is perfect. You know, it's, it's 10 degrees, so it's really good. The fish is active. Uh, it's easy to handle them. If these coves are like 20 degrees, you should be really careful because the fish is hard to release. But now it's no problem at all. Look at the other fish following it. It's always a bigger fish follow, Paolo. Yep. <laughs> You tease for me, please. Yeah, I'm doing that. But I put, a, I put this dragon tail fly on. It's <laughs> really effective. That's a nice quick release. It's really good. So I'm fishing an articulated fly here. Actually, one I stole from Paolo's box. So it has uh, two hooks. It has a small aluminum dumbbell here. And then a XXL dragon tail in this new, really bright orange color which you can see it's really popping, it's extremely fluoro. And these fish, they have basically ne probably never seen a, a bait before, anything artificial, which is making them react really, really well on this. So, super cool, a little bit digging action. 40 pound wire, 35 pound wire, fast attach, good to go. Catch another one. Miklos, I remember one situation like this in Alaska, that only in Alaska I could a lot of fish and powerful like this. But the problem is that I had the hair in my head, so several years ago. Sorry, you had <laughs> <laughs> You cut another one. Sorry. Double trouble, again. <laughs> <laughs> they are so strong. <laughs> That's crazy. And the size is just... Oh. 
<laughs> uh, this is what fly fishing is all about. Yeah. Look how fat this one is, you know, it's really a belly to it. Yeah, nice 90 centimeter fish here. But usually they are a little bit skinny the fish up here because the winter is so so tough. But look at the belly yeah. on this. You, oh. you see, you saw the bite on the belly. So yeah. So there's definitely big, bigger yeah. fish. Yes. Yeah. Here you can see the pike in the tail here or in oh. the mouth. Super nice fish. Look at how fat they are. <laughs> and. What, what I really like with this is when you fish them with fly, you don't really leave any marks on the side of the mouth mm. or something. They're like really like a virgin fish here after you have a... This one, it actually has... It actually has two fish in, inside of this. You could feel them side by side here. Gotta love this. Yes. And fly fishing in shallow water is just the best. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. <laughs> Look at the he head, is almost blue. Did you yeah. see that on the other side? Good job, man. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so hard because when you hook them, they're so strong, so you don't know if it's 90 yeah, yeah. or it's or, a big or one. Or, or yeah. They're just so strong. Like, like this one. Uh, they are just so heavy when they take the fly. It's insane. So we're fishing this cove here, and you can see we have the big lake out here. And this is a small cove uh, a lot of the times they have like a reef going through with big, ro big rocks and then they become a little bit deeper here so up in the corner there it is very shallow and here we are actually almost on two meters and we find that the big fish is here and this, the, the shallower we come it actually gets more and more fish but they just become smaller and smaller so uh, we try to fish the whole cove and now we fished it probably caught uh, over a hundred fish in here and now we're returning back and we're meeting these bigger and bigger fish again. This is one uh, that's closer to a meter again here, or, or at least high 90. And it's so cool because there's just so much fish in these coves. And the temperature we have here, it's, it's just perfect for pike, you know. It's good to handle them. Uh, super well, you know, that we don't hurt them a lot, so. It's just perfect for fishing. So if you want to have two different techniques when you're retrieving the fish, uh, one that is really good when it's windy like this is to fish it roly poly. Put the rod under your hand, under your arm, and, and you retrieve the fly with both hands. And when you set the hook, you kind of just tighten the line and uh, you lift the rod when you feel that the fish is on. It's really good when, he, when you want a steady pace to the fly and also when the, when it, the wind is uh, making it really hard for you to control and, and have the nice tension to the line. I'm fishing in a, a Hoover fly now in, in a dark copper color because we've been fishing this cove now for a while and we've been hooking a lot of fish here. So on a bright color so I just went down to a a little bit darker color with a copper dragon tail and they just love it. Look at the colors. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Double <that, that> trouble! <laughs> it's just insane fishing here. That's the cool thing with the North of Sweden, you know, you just find a lake where you think it's cool on the satellite photo and uh, buy a fishing license and go there. Thanks man. Sorry. You're on fire, man. <laughs> I cast there, I get the small one. You cast there and you get the big one. Perfect. Yes, good Perfect size. Perfect hospitality. <laughs> ah, that's a nice fish. It's a long fish. Uh, yep, yeah, it is. It's like 105, 110. Nice fish. Open it and then push it down. Straight down. Okay. There you go. Nice fish, probably 106 or something, 105, maybe. Well, 105, I 105. think. 105, yeah. It's a meter fish in any yeah. case. Yep. Look at the sun! Uh, it's, it's right no for, more rain! It's right for the photo. <laughs> it's right for the photo. <laughs> Oh. 
So we just had a, uh, the last hour has been insane. Uh, probably not only the last hour. Oh, there will be <laughs> two hours, yeah, but yes, yes. we've been almost catching fish like yes. this on every single cast. Yeah, because uh, I, I think that catch you can, fish, if you, fish, if you look inside, you see the fin. Yes, if you fish, look inside, fish, after you fin. You see the fish? Yeah, yeah. it's dark, yeah, yeah. it's dark. Uh, incredible day, incredible yeah, fish. Yeah. And so, the last two hours has been probably one of the best fishing we have ever had. Oh, know, yes. Because I, it's I, just I, big fish on every single cast. I'm sure. I remember one time, but like this in Alaska, yeah. when I had my hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that's a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in and have some lunch. We'll make a barbecue in here and then uh, and then we go go, yeah, go okay, get it, go okay, get them again. Okay, this is a fantastic idea. So just breathe I so much say by the leaves I hope the time dancing away. I, I, I'm sure uh, that 99% of the angler won't back. <laughs> you don't think 100% want to come back? Uh, 99 because it's possible that 100% when set the hook, when cast you set the hook, <laughs> and don't want to come back because it's too windy. But 99. Um, Guys, thank you a lot for watching. That's why we're, the reason why we're doing this. Thank you, Paolo, for coming. Thank to all and thank you for you. <laughs> so. We had a great time. Today was insane. I don't know how many big fish you had. Uh, too I, many? You had too many big fish. <laughs> I don't remember, but I went back. Yeah. And uh, I'm still thinking about that really big fish I lost. You didn't see it on camera, but I lost a huge fish. That happens. Uh, I'm, but mad, we can, I'm, we... I'm mad for you. <laughs> I'm mad but, for you. But we can take it next time. <laughs> it was really nice to have you here, man. Yeah. Thank you guys once again for watching. And until next time, hope to see you on the water. Hi, guys.